Next, I'm going to show you a little more complex suture, the vertical mattress suture. Again, we're going to go ahead and open up the device that comes with your suture pad that helps to put tension on the skin. And when we go ahead and make a cut here, what happens is the skin gapes open. In order to take tension off this, sometimes a simple suture will just pull through and we'll do a vertical mattress, which some people call the far, far, near, near. So notice I've gone into the skin, along the bottom of the skin, and gone far away. And now I turn the needle around and come back and do nearer and nearer to the incision. And what this does is going to pull the tissue between each of those throws together as opposed to just pulling the edges of the skin together. And again, you do your instrument tie, and generally I'll pull it tight just so I see the skin kissing. And this is a more secure closure because now what you're doing is you're actually grabbing a bunch of tissue and a bunch of tissue and it's, it's pulling the skin edges together, but there's no actual stitch in the actual edge of the skin. So again, deep, run along the bottom of the dermis, run along the bottom of the dermis and come out about the same distance on both sides, turn the needle around, and now you want to get pretty close to the edge of the skin because it's the distance between those two bites that gives you your strength. Do the same on both sides, and then again, go ahead and do your instrument tie. So this is important uh, when we are doing uh, different types of deeper closures and certainly uh, wounds that are traumatic and maybe have edema and are swollen and under a lot of tension.